Hey everybody, it's Sally. I'm greenlighting my day today, reflecting on what I'm kind of going through this week, which is um, almost embodying the change of the season over here for me. Uh, I have a hard time with seasonal effectiveness disorder. Uh, I have struggled every winter that we have been here, uh, hence why I throw myself pell-mell into any activity I can find to keep my energy levels up and focused forward. Um, I, I struggle with the dark. It's not the temperature. It's not the rain. It's, it's not the gray. It's truly the lack of sunlight. The days are extremely short. And in another week or two, it will be, by the end of November, it will be, it will, the sun will not rise before 9, 9.30. 9.30 in the morning before the sun is up. And it is dark by 3.30 already, pretty much, uh, in a couple weeks. So it is, it is the hardest season to live in the UK if you're a person who needs sunlight. So I have felt that season shift in my psyche and in my body this week. And I've been greenlighting my morning, reflecting on some things that are kind of dark and um, trying to get that darkness um, under a different kind of perspective for myself and to celebrate it for what it is and then be able to embrace it and move through it um, for the next few months. So, as much as I love autumn, it already feels like winter is fast, fast, fast approaching, which to me, I equate with a death. Seasons change, there's a death in between those seasons, there's a transformation to the next season. I love the fall, I love the fall. Uh, and it's been so beauty, beautiful, I feel like I'm just desperately trying to grasp my last breath of that autumnal glory and the harvest season. It's still here. It's not even Halloween till tomorrow. But, and then we've got Thanksgiving. It's just different over here. We don't have the Thanksgiving thing to get jazzed up about and getting ready for that. It, it, there's nothing between now except uh, Remembrance Day, which is a very somber, somber occasion when they remember their fallen um, soldiers um, from World War One, particularly, and World War Two. But really, that's, that's heavy duty over here. It's very somber. Um, uh, so there's, there's nothing until Christmas. Um, so let me just read you this. I was looking for poetry to to kind of meditate on and reflect on the change of the season, so I could like embrace the season, incorporate it, move through it, and try to like you know, like I said, make the best of it I can here. This week we turned our clocks back two hour, an hour, two hours, an hour, and that has been up, uh, disrupted my sleep cycle. Um, uh, and I find that this is what I do. I hibernate in the winter. I don't want to recluse away from Facebook and, and things, but I hibernate. I, I fall, literally fall asleep about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. I, I have the blanket up to here in front of the TV next to my husband, and I am asleep. I cannot force myself to stay awake. It is the hardest thing for me all winter long to stay awake at night. Um, and then I sleep hopefully through to like 5.30 in the morning. So anyway, I want to read this poem to you. And if anybody else struggles with the winter and the transition of the seasons, you're not alone. This is a, a quote that I, uh, by an artist, and I think you'll see why an artist wrote this, not a poet. And the way he has his eye affects how he's looking for something to recreate and to interpret on the canvas. It's by Andrew Wyeth. And it's a way that I find that he celebrates the good that is winter. I prefer winter and fall when you can feel the bone structure of the landscape, the loneliness of it, the dead feeling of winter. Something waits beneath it. The whole story doesn't show. Having an artistic sensibility, I can really, I can really like stick my hands in those lines and just feel them. I just feel them and I take them in. And it helps me um, honor the beauty that is winter. See it in, with poetic license. That makes it valid to me. That makes it something that I can glean beauty and truth from. And in that beauty and truth, there is light. That is the light that gets me through the winter. 
So I encourage you, if you struggle, try to change your lenses and see what we can do to celebrate the season to come. Find the good in it. Sit under a sun lamp. Get some exercise and um, celebrate. Because even though there is winter, and in winter there is that feeling of dead, the dead feeling of winter, something waits beneath it. The whole story doesn't show. And it's not just that the spring is underneath, because I could spend all winter just thinking about spring. And that helps. But that's living in the future. I need to live in the present and remember the whole story doesn't show. What whole story is winter hiding from me that I can spend time reflecting on, rejoicing in, and taking life lessons and light from in the, in the days ahead as the days grow shorter and shorter and shorter. I thank you for sharing this moment with me. Enjoy the last of the fall, the last gasp. Enjoy Thanksgiving, which is like a month away. But just enjoy each other. Seasons come and seasons go. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.